Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. So in this video, I will be reviewing a project Elixir ROM which I have flushed a few days back and I have been using this ROM for my daily drive and today I am going to sh uh, tell you my experience about this ROM. So first of all, um, the fingerprint and the face scanner is working just fine if I put my fingerprint here. So it works fine, it's not that bad so you can see so if i press and touch it's open and so interface is i'm using a launcher launcher which is uh similar to pixel uh, which is called stock launcher and as you can see here the network is there and the wi-fi is working fine and uh, what new about this rom is there is nothing new about this rom that is the new thing here so if i go here uh, you are you are not getting uh, my UI camera, but if what you are getting you are getting a, a Snapdragon camera, which doesn't work actually. It's uh, crash sometime if I open it. Sometimes it does work, but sometimes it just crash. So now I am trying to open it. You can see it's not loading. So we are getting uh, some idea about this. So the camera doesn't work properly. So if I open my um, as you can see here, so Excel camera is working just fine. So if you are looking for a MIUI camera, you just avoid this ROM. This ROM um, doesn't contain any MIUI camera. So you are you are seeing that my skin is little bit yellowish because I have turned on uh, night mode because this ROM doesn't has uh, Xiaomi parts so it it was getting giving me a skin burning issue which i have said in my most of my videos about skin burning issue of me noted so if you turn on night mode it reduces that issue but if you had xiaomi parts you may tweak little bit your display setting which uh fix the skin burning issue but it's not present here so if i go uh um, as you can see we are in the setting now and the setting interface is a little bit different although it's been running on android 12 and osp based but still the setting layout is a little different but it has little tweak uh, inside it if you go here so you are getting their themes and other things and if you slide you are getting theme so you can get complete um, dark theme as you know um, the uh, if i turn on the uh turn off the complete black theme it will uh you will see the grayish grayish uh setting menu but if i turn on the black theme it's completely dark so it doesn't matter actually because it does need me noted uh don't have what it called or any amulet panel so it doesn't matter and if i go to other setting like status bar you can change little bit about your clock position and other things also you can choose uh battery um icon and other things here and also you can tune your status bar which um, logo you want to appear on your status bar and also you are getting brightness control also you can choose brightness control on top or on the bottom of your uh, notification panel so i'm using uh, on as you can see uh, in my phone it's on on uh, bottom of the notification panel so i have changed it from top to bottom that that's here and you are getting double tap to sleep even if you touch here it will also sleep that is also built in uh, here so you are getting that that one too and also you are getting advanced or restart menu if you press advanced restart menu you will get required system and other things some roms uh, have these uh, features but some rom doesn't but this rom has so that's that is the point and if i go to other setting like system and it's running on android 12 so that's the latest version of it and it's it's got the security patch level i think from february so it's one month period but still it's working just fine this rom and battery backup is just uh not that bad it's good it's good enough and it's uh about the gaming performance of this rom 
sorry sorry to say i don't play games so i i don't know but i have done some video editing on this rom it's it's handling fine so you may get a idea of it how it can run game although this is not a gaming phone but still if you want to play games you can play and one more thing is that um if you go to the gesture and you are getting getting quick tap which allow you to take a screenshot by double tapping on your back of your phone so also if you tap somewhere it's uh, automatically take a screenshot so uh, sometimes i use these features but sometimes i don't use because whenever you keep your phone it if it touch something it take the screenshot uh, i would rather choose this one which is swipe to swipe to screenshot so you are getting both of them or whichever if you want also you are getting a uh, hide navigation pill so you can see you can use full screen gesture which will hide the navigation pill which you get so I, I don't really like that one but few some people like that so you have option to choose which one you want and you are getting haptic feedback whenever you use your gesture so i don't really need so i don't use that and other things is just normal avsp rom uh, rather than that there is nothing new so the bug i have found is that the camera doesn't work and there is a issue with a uh, display which is give you the skin burning issue and rather than that there is no no problem it's quite like pixel experience rom which has no also which got uh aosp camera which is snapdragon camera i think which in, don't have mui camera but anyway you can use you can port your google camera as you can see it's Google camera works flawlessly. There is no problem with that. And also you are getting what it called face scan and your fingerprint scan. I don't really use face scan because at night it doesn't work. And rather than that, this ROM is quite good. If you want to flash it, I, I would I would say um, don't flash this ROM, go another ROM because all the ROMs are nearly same because there's these roms are based on aosp so all the roms are quite same but if you go another rom if you check like hobok or aerovers you will get much more function and much more uh, uh better quality rom where you will get mio camera xiaomi parts and other things so if you are looking for a good rom i would i would say don't flash this rom but still if you want to try this rom the link in my previous video which, where i have installed and gave a quick glance of it so that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.